Hi, and welcome to our tutorial series to get you started on Test Monitor. These videos are designed to show you how to use the main features of Test Monitor and will help you set up your first test project. In this fifth video, we are going to run a test. In the previous videos, we set up some test runs. Now it's time to start testing. First, click on the Run menu. You'll be taken to the Run Overview page, where all test runs assigned to you are listed. Available test runs are marked with a green play button. Test runs that are planned for the future are displayed using a grayed out calendar icon. You can preview the contents by clicking on the small plus button on the left. This will cause the row to expand, showing you each test case along with its duration. To start a test run, click on the green play button. You'll be taken to the Run Test screen, which slightly differs from the rest to provide a more distraction-free environment. The navigation menu now only contains a Back to Overview link, which takes you to the list of assigned test runs. On the left, a green bar containing the assigned test cases is shown. Test cases with a test result show the related result icon, otherwise an empty circle is shown. Clicking on the logo in the green bar will reveal the test case names. Click on a test to open it. In the middle of the screen, two panels are shown. In the left panel, all the test case details are shown. Its code, the name, the instructions, preconditions, test data, expected result, and attachments. Effectively, this is the input for the tester. In the right panel, the result form is shown. A set of smileys, a description field, and an attachments upload field. This is the output for the tester. Finally, beneath the two panels, there are two navigation buttons called Next and Previous. These will take you to the Next and the Previous test case of the test run respectively. They will also save the test result specified in the right panel. Creating a test result is really easy. Once you have determined if your test subject is working like it should, you can pick one of the smileys to categorize your finding. The green Happy Smiley indicates the test case is passed. You can click Next to proceed. The yellow neutral smiley indicates a caution. Technically, the test case is passed, but one or two small issues were found. These can be cosmetic or performance-related issues, for example. A description is required to proceed. The red sad smiley indicates the test case has failed. Both the description and one or more attachments are required. And finally, the black bomb smiley indicates the test case is blocked and you cannot proceed with the test run. Again, both the description and one or more attachments are required. The description text field is used to annotate your test result. It is best practice to report any problems by telling what you did, how you did it, and what you expected to happen. The attachments field provides you with a way to upload any relevant documents that explain the result. This is particularly useful for screenshots and screen recordings. You can upload an attachment by clicking on the field or by using drag and drop. For screenshots, you can also use our convenient copy-paste feature. Just simply copy a screenshot to your clipboard and use the paste keyboard shortcut in the test monitor window to upload the file directly. On the right, you'll see a small vertical bar with two icons. The first icon provides access to the test results comments. You can post a comment providing context about the result, or perhaps post a question that needs to be answered. The second icon allows you to create an issue while running the test. The issue will be automatically linked to this test result and test case. We're going to talk about issues in a subsequent video. You can iterate over each test case by entering its test result details and clicking on Next. When you have reached the end of the test run, the Next button label will change into the Finish. Clicking on Finish will show a dialog box allowing you to return to the test run overview. Back on the test run overview, you'll see your progress has changed, as indicated by the progress bar. You can revise your results at any time by clicking on the play button while the test run is available. Once the test run has expired, it will be hidden from this overview. This concludes the fifth video in this series. In the next video, we are going to learn how to track the test results. Thank you for watching and happy testing.